Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to see how I draw Frank Wolf from Disney's Jungle Cruise. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you wanna watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out for myself and only I can see it, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on. I'll take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. For those of you that are gonna stick around, I'm gonna start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, I'm going for a, an action pose, right? I mean, in so many words, he, there's there's nothing crazy about his costume. So, no offense, I mean, that's great. You know, we need to learn clothing and, and uh, um, uh, wrinkles and things like that, you know? But I, I, I figure it's like, well, let's let's mix it up a bit. Let's, let's give him an action pose. I mean, it is... Um, you know, The Rock, in so many words, that he, he was a wrestler and and, and uh, does all kinds of crazy moves and whatnot. So, yeah, let's 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 change it up and 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 give him some some action pose, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, it, 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 we're getting a little more dynamic. Is basically also what I'm trying to say. Is we're gonna go for a dynamic pose. So he's kind of all out there. I mean, I've kind of, <laughs> I kind of run out of positions after a while. I mean, doing one a day, after a while, <laughs> I try to mix it up for you guys and give you something different. But even I get it. It's like, oh yeah, sometimes I think I've done this one, you know, stuff like that. But practice. That's how I look at it. It's all practice. So even though it's it's it feels like I may have done this one, you know, we we need to practice more anyway. So I'm okay with that. And anyway, uh, because we're not used to drawing like this position, it helps. It helps to practice over and over again because it doesn't mean we get it right. I mean, that's what practice is: is, is trying over and over again, right? And that's why you have softball practice. That's why you have football practice. That's why you have. I, mean, I guess I'm using a lot of sports as practice. Um, sketch practice, you know. It. it, it it's something you got to do to get better at. I mean, unless you are, you know, a, a prodigy that, that woke up and all of a sudden you can play the piano or or do math. You know what I mean? Uh, you have to practice at everything. So it's okay to say, well, you know, we're practicing the sketch. So if I've done it before, I'm just kind of telling myself, that's okay. You gotta practice to get it right. Ooh, I'm doing some foreshortening too. So let's see, I want the foot down like this. Perfect. Okay, not perfect. Sorry, that's very, very uh I don't want to toot my own horn kind of thing. It's like, look, I, 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 I want to say, yes, I came out the way I wanted, but it's not perfect. I still have to practice. I still have to try to get it right. But we're also going to mix it up with the hands too. I'm going to do something like this. So he's kind of jumping, not thinking about his hands. So we're doing kind of a, the fingers are going to be down and curled in, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. So let's see what we can do here. Because again, the other crazy thing is it's it's just cloth, you know? So we get to kind of build it up into something else just to give it, again, some dynamic qualities, some, some uh, something different, right? There, looks 
good, looks good. Let me add some detail now. Again, the trick is gonna be capturing the look with the dynamic qualities, you know? Because that's that's the other downside to, to not having details is you're trying to capture the feel of a character that doesn't have details. You know what I mean? You gotta try to figure out how to make it look like him with with no details. You know, I can't I can't draw the bat symbol on his chest if it was Batman kind of thing, you know? It's like I gotta I gotta figure out how to do it. Simply. Sorry, my hand's starting to sweat already. Texas weather. That's that's the price you pay for the beauty of Texas. It's hot. It's super hot. Okay, um, let's see. let me try to capture some kind of... The problem is... It's the rock, right? And you know what the rock looks like, so I, when I get it wrong, you're going to be able to tell. You can say, that doesn't look like a rock. But the nice thing is, what I've always, I've always kind of accepted is that I can't draw, or I don't have time to draw actress and actors' likenesses. So I've accepted the fact that this is a cosplay person, right? Like I kind of tell myself, like, we'll just say that this is someone dressed like The Rock from, or dressed like Frank Wolf from Disney Jungle Cruise. See? Doesn't quite look like him. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's good. I think that's good. I say we we uh, get to the sketch portion. Sorry, get to the Sharpie portion because the sketch portion is good. I'm happy with this. So I'm going to erase some of these lines real fast because the first few lines I put down, I'm just throwing lines on the paper just to get a feel for the position, the proportions, and the placement. And as I get more confident with each one of those, I start pressing harder. So those confidence lines are darker. So when I lightly erase like this, I'm erasing the sketch lines, but the confidence lines take a little bit more pressure. I'm not quite applying that much. So what stays is the confidence. What we get rid of is the sketchiness. And that's how you live your life. Get rid of your sketchiness. Keep your confidence. We'll do amazing things in this world. So I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than the fine point. It can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're gonna go. And if you wanna see more stuff, check out that playlist right there, or just do a search in the playlist for whatever you're looking for, because chances are I may have already drawn what you're looking for. If not, give me a shout, I'll see what I can do. I'm going to start off with his eyes. I wanna make sure I got him, you know, they're always level, but as you turn your head, you wanna keep them in the same line, right? So that's, that's what I wanna do with his eyelids. Just kind of do something like this, just to see. Yeah, because I've got them kind of turned. Ooh, sorry, kicked the whole table. Um, it's so I want to make sure his head is kind of balanced the same way. 
and the eyes are kind of, <laughs> I kind of didn't quite hit that right, but let me see what I can do here. See, this one's a little droopy, a little, a little sad eye, but I can fix it, I can fix it. I'm gonna come in and just dab the pupil like that. Fix that part of the eye like this. Come in to the bottom like that. I don't draw the bottom eye line because it will bleed. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of a droopy eye, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna keep going. Now, his hat is kind of covering up some of his head, so I wanna go ahead and draw that. I'm gonna do it. You see, it's kind of covering up uh, some of his eyebrows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw that. Then I'll come back up and do more of that later, but I just want to give myself an edge because I know you can only see so much of his eyebrow. Right? Like that. See, I, did, I didn't want to lose it or accidentally draw through the hat. Okay? Normally, I say don't draw the bridge of the nose, but we're going to go ahead and just do something, oops, something like that just to give an edge because I do have him turn just slightly and he's got a very prominent um, the bridge. So I'm just going to do that, come down here for the nostrils and something like this. Now that's all. I, I, I want to draw more, but the noses are very subtle with uh, um, edges and I want to keep it subtle, not draw black lines for everything, just, just for the way I draw, you know? I've got his mouth open a little bit because he's kind of like jumping through the air with a you know a expression, a, a excited expression. So I'm just gonna kind of do this, where his mouth is kind of open. There's his lip, and again, there's I want to be subtle with this. Like he's got lines in his face, uh, but I don't want to draw all of them. I want to do more with color, you know. So here's gonna be his chin. And then I'm gonna come back up and work my way. So you see I've got the head slightly tilted like that. That's what I was going for. There's a strong jawline up to his cheekbones. Same thing, let's go back this way. And see, I did this one longer because I had his head just slightly turned. And I'm thickening up my edges because when I switch over to that Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So I'm trying to match where it's going. Hang on, let me fix my chair. Ah, this chair. It's, uh, <laughs> I've got one of those pneumatic ones and it's, it's dying on me. So it's time to switch out. So every now and then you're gonna hear me <laughs> stop to, to actually uh, raise it back up. All right, he's got very prominent cheekbones. So I just kind of want to do something like that. And that's good, that's good. Like I said, it's, it's very cartoonish, very comic booky, Very coloring book is where I decided my style is. There's an ear. Let's bring his jaw back up here to this ear. And again, I'm thickening my edges, but you don't have to. Especially if you're working with pencil, it might look a little strange. So you do what you want to do. I'm just explaining to you why I draw how I draw. Okay, so now that I've got enough of that done, I can go ahead and draw the rest of his hat. And there's a couple layers to it because it's kind of got this, this uh, band around it. Then it also has the floppy, floppy top that's kind of coming down. So, I also gotta remember that his head is in there, right? So, I can't, I did have it drawn in just a little bit, but you gotta remember his head is right there coming up to the, to the hat. So, I gotta make sure I draw those edges. Let me find a better picture of it, make sure I'm getting it close. Yeah, good enough. Um, got like that top almost like a like a, it makes me think of a chef you know they've got in the cartoons they've got that that very big top half 
that flops down every now and then, cartoonish versions. It's, it's like that, it's like a, a smaller chef hat. Skipper hat, I guess. I don't know, look. All I know is by movies and cartoons, okay? <laughs> all right, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna switch over to the big Sharpie now. Okay, so see, not exactly looking like him, but you know, it's like a person in cosplay. That's how I look at it. All right, so the rock, big old big neck like this, but his shirt and all that stuff is gonna come into play now that his arms are raised. So I'm gonna wrinkle his shirt up like this. Gonna bring it down. And he's got uh, like a like a scarf or something underneath. Oh, you know what, let me go ahead and close his shirt off. That way I can draw the edge. And there's that scarfish type thing. Um, not like scarfish, but it's like it's uh, why I'm trying to explain. I really don't. Okay. <laughs> um, let's give him some neck features. All right. So he's got uh, suspenders, right? So I've got to put that into the account that his arms are raised, so his shoulders are raised, and he has very big shoulders. So let me draw the edge of the suspender like that. This one, it's underneath that collar just from the way he's turned just a little bit so maybe I should go ahead and draw them let's do it let's go ahead and draw them because I know where his waist is gonna go so let's go ahead and draw his waist let's go ahead and draw the the, the torso right and they've got like this uh, place that you can um, not place but this the the thing that you adjust right so I'm, I want to leave room for that to kind of make it stand out that it's it's there okay I'll add detail in a second but I just wanted to show you and this one's underneath his collar so I'm coming down here and, and kind of doing it in the same place kind of that's the idea with suspenders right that you kind of have them the same like why would it be wider on one or yeah anyway so see it's kind of not perfect Kind of exaggerated, but that's kind of the idea. It's like I, I want to do something a little different, you know? Like that. Just a little bit of a, an attachment, a little bit of this is this is where it uh, deviates from the normal strap all the way across. That's where he he uh, adjusts his straps. Okay. Since we're here, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and attach it to his pants. And that'll give us the upper torso, right? And let's see, he does have like a, um, I guess like a gun holster on this side, something like that. And then I can do his pants. Or his belt, sorry. And I like leaving grooves like that for the loops just to accent that it's pant. You know, it's attached to the pants. That's gotta work, gotta work. But see, obviously it's part of the pants, so we just kind of do something like that. It's kind of, yeah, here it's attached. Sewn in, you know, kind of almost looks like bones. <laughs> oh well. All right. So now that we have those suspenders uh, defined, I can draw his body. So his, oh, it's the rock. So he's got that that huge upper torso, and because his arms are raised, the material is going to be all kind of squished up, right? So here's his shoulder. See what I'm saying? He's just wrinkling up the material, right? So big upper chest, big wrinkled material, big shoulder, like that. Make sense? All right, so this one's foreshortened because it's more 
in front of you coming out like that. Let's just go ahead and do it since we're here. And again, it's material, so I'm gonna add wrinkles and folds. The shirt all bent up. And then his forearm, like that. Now his hand's gonna be, I'm gonna use dynamic hands. His hand's gonna be like this, like a, like a, you know, action pose. And so we're gonna do foreshortened fingers and stuff like that. So bear with me, let's draw some detail. Um, bear with me uh, for the, um, the way we're gonna be bending this stuff. But um, you'll see, it'll make sense. So, because his hand's gonna be like this, just remember the pinky's gonna be in just a little bit. So, let's do it like this. Here's his thumb. All right, this finger is gonna be extended and then they're gonna curl in as we get to the pinky. So, I'm just kind of following my sketch. And then I'm gonna come back in and add some detail. So it's gonna look a little strange how it's getting smaller for uh, the pinky. Like, almost like a nub, right? But, but, hang on. There's only so much detail I could use with that, so that's why, that's why I kind of come back in and do uh, more detail with uh, the smaller pinky, the smaller pinky, the smaller Sharpie. So, what I'm gonna do is start to bend in the fingers and add some detail that it's all bent, right? Be careful I don't want to go too crazy I mean I do but uh, you know again this is this is very subtle it's a hand you know I don't want to go drawing all the figure fingers because um, I want to keep it looking like a hand sometimes I get get a little crazy and start drawing all kinds of lines but there you go I think it's good I'm gonna walk away from that okay same thing with this one just kind of a different position so Kind of come over here for the bicep. This one's more out than pointed at you. And uh, here's the forearm, again, with the the uh, rolled up uh, sleeve. Again, because it's a sleeve, we're gonna draw just wrinkles in the material. Just, I just like making the, the, the shirt come alive by by giving it movement, by giving it wrinkles and stuff like that. You know, it just kind of makes it used. I mean, it gives it a, a real world feel. And they're not all perfect, you know? I'm sure it doesn't always exactly bend this way, but it, it, it works for me. Okay, so same thing with this hand. We're almost the same thing, but different. So this one's gonna come down a little bit further like that. So again, it's the same, but different. So again, draw on the thumb, and then this finger extended. Again, I'm kind of following my sketch. And I'm gonna add the details, right? <laughs> Look how bent and crooked that thumb came out. It happens. So a little, a little, a little more wonky than that one, but uh, that's the idea. See, I start drawing too many lines, and it gets to look like a glove. It gets to look too, too uh, detailed sometimes. But I need to be subtle. Okay, but I like that. I like that. We're good. So now, 
because he's jumping through the air, I'm just going to draw his legs just kind of, uh, same thing, just material all wrinkled up. Ooh, let's add some in his shirt here. You know, just some wrinkles, just to, just to uh, bend him uh, with material. Okay, so this one is going to be foreshortened leg. This one's more sticking out. So let's just draw like that. This one's going to be like this. I'm just doing the outer edges, just to kind of get a feel of of uh, the entire shape. And he does have his his pants tucked into his boots. I lost my picture. Hang on. I want. Let me double check to make sure. Right. Pants tucked into the boots. Okay. Pants tucked into the boots. So let's go ahead and just draw that to the boot. That'll give me an edge to, to stop at, so to speak. Okay, now I do have him stretched out a little bit. So we're gonna wrinkle up his pants. Like this. And uh, I'll draw um, um, the middle and all that stuff. We'll do, again, some wrinkles. And this one, but this is what I wanted to show you. This one is more bent back, okay? Like this, back behind him. Make sense? Let me show you. So this boot, like this. Okay, it's, you're looking at the top view. Here, it's, it's bent back like that, okay? So that's why it's a little bit shorter. All right, so see, it kind of disappears a little bit further back there. Now let's just add a bunch of detail. So he's got a zipper. that and again wrinkles in the material and because I've got him bent like this that's why I kind of add just a little bit of extra for the the cloth being uh, stressed out like that So not too much, you know, I, I want to. I want to draw a whole bunch of lines, but I, I need to keep it subtle. I need to keep it simple, right? So for the boots, what I like to do, the boots, I like to just add just some crease lines just to show that it's, you know, it bends, especially right there in the ankle. Maybe something on the toe where he bends. Not too much though. See, sometimes it looks too much like a line, so you gotta be careful. But I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Frank Wolf action pose from Disney's Jungle Cruise. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.